Hello everybody and welcome to the demo for Cleanup Crew. It is a roguelike, you know, horde survival, bullet survivor. You know, it's it's one of those games. Um, it's pretty good. Like I, I've been playing it for oh, probably about an hour total before I finally get around to making the video. Um, it has some stuff that I think is pretty cool. Like um, as you play, you unlock different things. Although the awards that it unlocks, I would say probably aren't exactly as rewarding as you might think because it unlocks a weapon but you have to pay for the weapon or you have to it unlocks a character but you have to pay for the character but overall like it's it's kind of cool um you get this like i don't know blue stuff that, that's your that's your money essentially that you can buy your permanent upgrades of which there's a handful uh, for the demo i will say that the cost is really high for most everything i think it's higher than it probably should be um, so it really limits the desire to actually buy anything. Uh, but I've unlocked two characters. I'm not going to play this enough to unlock the third character because I have to extract three times and I have not been able to do that. Um, each of your characters does have a specific attribute that kind of uh, can make them a little bit um, better, I guess you could say. And um, I, I do like the biohazard person. They're pretty good. Uh, I've unlocked a couple of weapons. I really like the skull piercer. And without further ado, I'm just going to jump in and play. Um, I really like this weapon uh, because it just, you know, can shoot through multiple enemies. It's it's kind of cool. So the game doesn't do anything really that you haven't seen a billion times already. I do think that the way the upgrade uh, system works is pretty cool. Uh, when you get enough of the green giblets to upgrade your character, a crate falls from the sky, which you then have to run over, and you get like, you know, you know, whatever the upgrade might be. But the cool thing about the crate falling is it occasionally will uh, drop on enemies, and I think that's really cool. I will say the game is, uh, I was about to say, it doesn't really drop much in the way of health, and I haven't upgraded uh, the character for any regeneration just yet, so if uh, things go kind of kind of south uh, relatively quickly into your experience, well, you're probably not going to make it very far um, because health drops are rather limited. They just simply don't drop much, uh, which is it, it's kind of disappointing, honestly. Um, because there's a lot of moments where you just you just happen to have like kind of a bad time. Things just accidents happen, you make a mistake, but then you're just kind of hose, like, you just cannot, um, you really can't get, like, a lot of, you know, uh, you can't gain ground back, because it's like, well, now I'm just about dead, and you're just gonna delay the inevitable. Uh, but overall, like, I, I've had a good time with it, like, I'm only, this video's gonna be, like, one run, um, however long it takes, uh, considering I... Did a little talking in the beginning, you know, uh, and then, you know, however this goes, it's going to be a relatively short video, which I think is fine because it'll show you pretty much everything there is to expect for this very particular game, and I do recommend it. Like, I, I think it's, I think it's pretty fun. Uh, you know, it's not overly complicated it is very simple i definitely like that the game throws these objectives uh into the experience so you are encouraged to explore the play area and actually do some stuff which i think is really cool uh, and it's something that i've been seeing a little bit more in games like this uh, it's definitely something that i haven't seen a lot of in this genre, everybody typically just kind of focuses on, you know, killing as many enemies as possible and surviving for, you know, 10, 15 minutes or whatever, and just kind of repeating the process until you decide to go do something else, like make a sandwich or make some breakfast, which is kind of how my morning's going to go. I'm going to make some breakfast after this. I'm going to make some sweet eggs. Not sweet eggs. They're not going to be sweet. They're going to be just regular egg flavored, but the eggs are going to be good is what I'm implying. I will say, um, 
that the game doesn't feel like it has very many weapon upgrades that are uh, very good, honestly. Like, it, it doesn't have a lot of really cool upgrades that you're going to get as you play. Although, the more you play, the, the more you seem to kind of unlock the capability of finding specific weapons as you play. But overall, like, I feel like I've as many times as I've played this, and I've played it for over an hour at this point, uh, but I feel that for the vast majority of things, I've been getting pretty much the same types of weapons um, and the same kind of upgrades every time I play without ever really getting anything else. Um, and unless I'm doing especially well and getting a bunch of whatever the blue money currency stuff is, I haven't really felt like I've really made much in the way of progress for the game, which definitely limits the desire to keep playing because I feel like I'm not really getting anything done. Um, and every every run feels relatively similar. Almost almost stale, uh, I guess you could say. Graphically, I think the game stands out a bit. Uh, mostly because of the massive quantity of blood. But also because we got, like, some cute and cuddly monsters. Like, uh, you know, it... I don't know, it's it's almost like we've fallen in this kind of realm of cuteness, and, and that's what we're... that's what we're fighting. Um, thousands upon thousands of rather cute monsters, and that's kind of cool, because, uh, you know, not everything has to be terrifying, I guess. Uh, weapon variety, not weapon variety, enemy variety is its pretty decent. Um, it progresses at a pretty decent pace. Uh, I feel like we've gotten a pretty nice change uh, as, as we've gone on here, like with the new enemies and everything. And really, my, my only major complaint is just how redundant it feels like it just feels kind of this, like the same thing every time there's just not really enough variation uh, in each in each run every time I play I feel like I'm really just kind of doing the same thing and it just I don't know I, I feel like it could definitely be a bit more interesting Even though we've got like all these little different kind of mini quests that we have to do, and and I do like those. I really, really like those. I, I think those are fantastic um, kind of additions to the game. But again, I don't feel as though it does enough to really, I guess, you know, make it a uh, experience that I just want to keep coming back to. Which I guess might sound weird, saying, considering I, I've played this for well over an hour at this point. But, you know, it's you, you're trying to get, like, enough um, of a skill to uh, showcase the game and everything. Because nobody wants to watch somebody be really, really terrible at a game. I don't know why, I don't know. Sometimes they do. But it looks like uh, this run is about over. And I'm going to die, which is fine because this actually means we'll finish this video in less than 10 minutes, which is kind of perfect. Anyway, after you die, you get to come over here, you do your upgrades. Again, like I said, I feel like the upgrade cost is just way too much for everything. Um, and with this being a demo, I just can't imagine playing enough to actually hit the requirements to, to fully upgrade uh, e even half of what's there. So... I don't know, but overall, like, I think Cleanup Crew is pretty entertaining. I think it is fun. If you like the Horde survival games, I don't see why you wouldn't like this. It does get a recommendation. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. Like, the link's in the description if you want to try it. Good day.